Hi people, welcome back to episode 3 of the Pontefract AFC career mode on Football Manager. Um, last two episodes have been fun to make, um, I've had a couple of messages off some people. One very interesting as well, who I'm looking to bring in as a sign-in. Um, so we maybe have a look at the possibility of bringing him in today. Um, so yeah, let's have a look through his inbox and see what we've got to say. So we've got the match report from the Leeds United game in the last episode. We lost 3-1. Um, I can't be too upset with it. It's his first ever professional game um, against his favourite team as well in Leeds. We had a sold out capacity of 4,000 people turn up for the game at Pontefract Park which I absolutely love because 4,000 people turning up to first professional game of a small town club is absolutely phenomenal. Apologies, just had a sip of my brew there. So we can't be too disappointed with the result, we didn't play well. And the scoreline reflects that. So, again, I can't be too disappointed. The Leeds United Premier League club, they've got some awesome players, some of my favourite players of all time. Um, so, yeah, can't be too upset about that. Not in the slightest. Um, Harris. Harrop. Jason Harrop. He is ready to sign as our head physio. So, we will definitely get him in. Jason Harrop, welcome. Uh, Zach Connor. Zach Cooper, sorry, not Connor. Zach Cooper, 40 year old director of football. Let's bring him in. £180 a week. And Wayne Harwood, who's going to be the head of youth development, 42-year-old, £180 a week. Happy, happy, happy. Pontefract AFC offer you a new contract. So I've been offered a new contract of £775 a week. Whew, whew, big shoes to fill. Uh, strive to make progress on and off the pitch. Work within the wage budget. Uh, and as you can see from these here, the league objectives of the current season. Avoid relegation, or avoid a relegation battle. Reach the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. The FA Cup be competitive. And my contract expires. Oh, sugar me, sweet. So I'm just going to accept these. Promotion wage rise. I'm not too bothered about none of that. I'd rather you give the money from that to the players. Two years. Um, happy with that. I'm very happy with that. They've offered me a new contract. Get in. Two years. Extremely happy. Must have seen something good. Uh, Pontefract FC turn professional. Get in. With a place in the Vamarama National League North. Assured. It has been officially confirmed that the club will go full time with immediate effect that is fantastic news so we're chasing this lad Mackenzie O'Neill I think he were on the loan list from Wigan now we've had a lot of problems trying to sign people from higher up divisions so just to show you his stats and everything he's got some okay stats his value is at 3.8 but his best role is 3.5 stars as a winger and as you can see on here he's got a white circle around the attacking midfield right position uh, I'm going to get into tactics as you can see there's one bid been made and that is from us for a loan so 18 year old I'm looking to get him in, develop him um, so yeah the miners' interest in O'Neill is mounting after it emerged that they are believed to be ready to discuss terms on a loan deal, which will likely prove financially favourable to the club. So I think we were trying to get him in on a uh, here we go, monthly fee, zero, £150 a week, and it's been accepted. Regular starter, attacking midfield right. Happy with that. Ed Physio, free transfer is hired, Jason Marrott. That's good. Cooper's in. Search ends. Uh, Howard completes, that's good. <coughs> awesome stuff. Board delighted, offer accepted. I'm also delighted that you've offered me a brand new deal. That is 
some good stuff. Sean Stevens is delighted to have signed a new contract with the club. Absolutely love it. To the year of 2022. What does it mean for the club to have signed Ethan Henderson? 18-year-old striker. 180 pound. I, I like him for his finishing. Um, for 18 year old as well. He's got no relationship with me. So he's currently a player and it means a lot. He wanted to come here. Signing him is a really good opportunity for everyone and I can't wait for him to get started. I don't think the question requires an answer at this time. I am happy but I'm not expecting an immediate fireworks. Ooh, that seems a bit yeah, negative. Absolutely. Uh, I think I think we'll go with the second one. Yeah. Stevens pleased to seal Anderson deal. Absolutely. Jack Cooper has recently been hired as director of football. Does this change your job at all? And are you looking forward to working with him? I am looking forward to working with him. It's a very good question. Um, he's a relative unknown, especially to the club. We have no ties with him as an ex-player or anything like that. Um, but I'm very interested in seeing what kind of players and stuff like that he suggests to the club as though we sign. So very look, very very pleased to bring him into the club, and very looking forward to what he can bring to uh, us and the backroom staff. And let's take the club forward. I'm delighted to welcome Zach, and hopefully we can build a successful working relationship and benefits everyone here. Exactly what I just said. And another question, you've just signed a new contract state Pontefract AFC for the foreseeable future. You must be delighted to have concluded this deal. Absolutely. I mean, brand new career mode, brand new club. Um, expectations should be low, we're relatively unknown, but all that out the window, I can just see progression in the club. I think some of the players that we linked with already, even though we've had no staff, is very good. Um, the deals maybe that we're pulling off also very good. Uh, the backroom staff we're bringing them in as well. So yeah, I'm delighted to have signed a new deal. I'm absolutely loving it here, and it was a no-brainer to commit staying for even longer. Absolutely, just love it. Especially being local as well. We live in Pontefract. I'm local, so it's not like we've got to travel ages to get to. Pontefract Park, it's literally a 10-15 minute walk, so we can't, there's no excuses for being late for training. Uh, and his next name against Yorkshire Amateur, right. So we had for last time. Tactical style, clean slate. The tactics board is a clean slate, ready for a playing style to be created from the ground up. Uh, so the main objective for the season, primarily just avoid relegation. So I'm look look at that fantastic Kyle Hudlin, four goals, three nil at half time. I like that. I like that a lot. Miller set to move on loan. Curtis Miller is another striker. Do we need another striker? He's finishing his 14. I'm going to say, yeah, for £130 a week, if he comes in and bags us a couple of goals, it's uh, it's a no-brainer. And Tien and Brooks. It's a goal that we're going to get him in. That's a loan signing. Awesome stuff, Curtis Miller signs. And we sell Brooks on a loan deal from Notts County. So, obviously, these clubs being so far away, this is fantastic news. Jack Barrett, a player who we looked at to bring in in the last couple of episodes, I managed to try and sort out a bit of a deal. But as you can see, all these added bonuses and stuff like that that he'll be getting given. Well, a bonus of £200, 170 and it's obviously only for so many. Let's just have a quick look at his stats. A couple I am really... Looking to improve here is his one on ones, which are at 10, so it's not exactly drastically bad. Handling's at 12, so that's good. 
command of the area is 6. So there's definitely stuff we've got to work on, but his determination is 17, his decisions are 12, bravery is 12, his aerial reach is 12, jumping reach 15, and natural fitness 14. I like that, so very happy. Let's. I know we've just signed Keane and Brooks, but it can't be a bad thing to have a couple of goalkeeping. So let's see, a free transfer assistant report is two and a half stars. Exciting young prospect that isn't far from the first team level. Potential Sky Bet League 2 goalkeeper. Five star, so that is really good. Pleased to sign a player of his calibre. Can see him becoming a key player if he realises his potential. I like that. So we have got a, um, a good young signing in there. Matches can be won and lost in a single moment. Do you realise Barrett? Oh, do you believe Barrett to be someone who can be the difference between success and failure? Well, to be quite honest, he is a young goalkeeper, so he is going to make a few mistakes on the way. But I think personally, if he can turn draws into wins, then that'll do nicely. I like that, cause. We're going to need some wins. Denilson Carvalho. I put this guy on the shortlist. Because it says he's an attacking midfielder. He is Brazilian. He's free. And as you can see, he can play okay on the attacking mid-left. And he can play on the attacking mid-right, and he can play through the middle, and a little bit in centre-mid. No side preference, competent. So, he can play in and around there. Again, he's, he's 21, he's Brazilian. So, I am kind of just looking to bring him in and maybe change his position and put him as an attacking midfield right. But Kingsland have come in with him. I have offered him a contract, by the way. You maybe see that if it comes up. Parker set for Bramtree, so we won't be getting Todd Parker. And McLaughlin set to sign for Pontefract AFC. It's another young goalkeeper. As McLaughlin is just 18 years old. 18 years old, sorry. Do you see his... Do you see... What? Do you see this? Ah, that's why I can't see the T. Apologies for that. Do you see this more as one for the future? I think that's definitely the case. I'm always looking to build for the future. I had the next few years in mind when looking at this deal. Definitely. Can't go wrong there. And Tommy Willard. I'm going to delay that signing of Tommy Willard. Not that I just don't want to bring him in. The fact is that with budgets being as they are, I just want to make sure we get some other good. But to be fair, he's got a £0 a week contract, so we might just bring him in. Again, I did some of these um, off-screen. So Ibrahim Bakare. Eastley, who are in the Vamrana National League. Centre defender, Nigerian. Tackling with 11, so I had a look at bringing him in. I hope we bring him in. And maybe he can partner this guy, Babari. So we have signed him. The assistant report is a two and a half star. Exciting young prospect who isn't far from the first team level. Potential Vanarama National Central Defender at five stars. I like that. Um, the fan reaction is give it a B minus. Pleased to sign a player of his calibre. Can see him becoming a key player if he realises his potential. Phenomenal. And as you can probably already have seen, there were another Brazilian who we saw, Felipe. And for a measly deal of £170 a week, appearance fee of £35 and an unused substitute fee of £8. That has got to be one of the best deals I think we've pulled off. Yeah, look at this. 
fans have given it a B minus, but that to me is is definitely an A. Exciting young prospect who isn't too far from the first team, apparently. Potential Vanarama national left winger. And that is definitely where I'm going to be looking to play him. And Mackenzie O'Neill, £150 a week, end of season, attacking midfield right. Let's bring him in. I like how some of these signings coming off now. We've been very busy in this transfer market. And Carvalho, he wants to come as well. I like that. So, to be fair, we've got, what, two Brazilians in? Um, a J set to sign for Pontefract AFC. So we've got Joshua J. We'll just have to see what we're getting like in training. <clears throat> and here it is, guys. This is one of the signings that I was talking about earlier. This is a good friend of mine, Ryan Carlton. I have put him into the game. Um, we offered him a contract, £300 a week. I know he can do the deal. He's a striker, and that's where I'm going to be playing him. Let's have a look at his stats here. His first touch is 11. Penalty taking is 13. Off the ball movements 11. Flare 11. Composure 11. Anticipation 11. Acceleration 11. Agility 11, <laughs> so repetitive female, pace 11, and stamina's 12, and trust me, that boy has got stamina, I've seen him. Natural fitness is 10, that's because normally after a long game of football, he likes a long rub down, so let's give it to it here, agreed playing time, star player, he's going to be my starting forward. Minimum fee release clause, 40 grand, I had to offer him it. If he scores a lot of goals and someone can offer him a better contract of £300 a week, I've got his best intentions at art. You give me 40 grand, and maybe you can persuade him to come and play for you at the, some other club. We'll just have to see how it goes going forward. If he scores us a lot of goals, I'm not going to have any quarrels in offering him a new deal and getting rid of that 40 grand minimum fee release clause. Sell on percentage, so if we do sell him, He's going to get 25% of the claw, uh, well, of the money that we sell him for. So he's going to get a quarter of whatever we sell him for. If we sell him for 40 grand, he's going to get 10 grand in his back pocket. And that's for coming and helping us out as a striker. So loyalty bonus, 2.2 grand. Appearance fee, 90 quid. Goal bonus, 150 quid. And unused substitute fee, 60 quid. As you can see, I've given him quite a good deal. Um free transfer and as you can see we've got him in Ryan Carlton accept don't mess around get the lad in and I'll be very looking forward to working with him and by the way if anybody were wondering with Ryan being my best mate he does have a YouTube channel he's got his own channel set up he plays a lot of seven days to die you can head on over there check him out search out Tangy Taco into YouTube um, you'll see it check out some of his videos give him a like uh, I know we started a little series on there uh, we do a lot of funny videos on Seven Days to Die. Uh, recently, we've had two episodes. We've got we were recording his third episode, so make sure you go and check that out. Uh, follow him on Instagram. Again, I think that's Hot Tangy Taco. There might be a few in underscores in there. You'll just have to search Hot Tangy Taco, and it should come up. You'll know what I mean. Ryan Carlton, you've got his name. Search for him um, on all social medias. Like his stuff, subscribe to his channel, and all that gravy. So yeah, thanks guys. So as you can see here, Joshua J, exciting young prospect who isn't far from the first team level. 18-year-old striker, potential Vanarama national right winger, but striker, I think. Point of fact, sign Ryan Carlton. Four-star, important player in the prime years. Could improve slightly. Very pleased to sign a player whose calibre and importance. And he's a local lad as well, don't forget that squad now has an abundance of game changing forwards I like that Ryan Carlton the game changing forward he's got a bit of a ring to it are you confident that Carvalho can produce when it matters in the big games I have the utmost confidence in Denilson but I tell you I've got more confidence in Ryan Carlton and as you can see Ibrahim Bakare centre back again been through it. We'll get him in. So, we'll skip forward again. We'll leave it on match day and we'll get into that match day in the next episode. So, 
two and a half star for uh, Ibrahim Bakare, centre back, sign young prospect, potential Sky Bet League Two central defender. I like it. Then we've got another question here from Jason McNeil. Um, the non-league football uh, paper, the non-league football paper dot com. Right. So I, I might have a question for you. Put some spaces in so I can see what you're writing, bro. Is put. How much research did you and your staff put into this signing? A player who is a relative unknown. I've got to be honest with you. I think when I looked at him, I didn't have any staff. So, it was just me. So I can't put we work night and day. But the player has been thoroughly scoured. And we're confident that Ibrahim will do well for the club. I'm very lightly. In fact, yeah, I'm going to put that. Very worked hard to sign him it didn't work hard I offered him a contract so, but so that's going to wrap it up for episode 3 guys uh, we've made some awesome signings again Ryan Carlton has got to be the major signing in that um, I'll try and get him on in the next episode uh, just to ask him a few questions about how he feels joining the club and then we'll, uh, we'll play against Bradford City maybe he'll get his debut or maybe I'll change the tactics a little bit and sort out some training schedules for people and we'll get into all that good gravy stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you see in here, then please do leave a like, a comment as well. Um, we're all about fan interaction. I'd like to see some people's uh, potential signings, maybe what they've got in future, or a certain way you want me to play football, or if you're just interested in joining in. Um, and I'll try and... If you message me or something, or you find me on Facebook, Instagram, um, I don't think you can message on YouTube, but if you leave a comment with like somewhere I can get hold of you, like on Instagram or Facebook, I'll drop you a message if you want to become a part of Pontifract AFC, if you're local, even if you're not. Right, and I'll try and somehow input you into the game so we can sign you and get you in so you can become a part of Pontifract AFC so yeah, thanks for watching um, I'll leave all the links and everything to Instagram, Twitch and all that good stuff I'll leave it all in the description below if, when this goes on YouTube um, so yeah, thanks guys and I'll catch you all in the next one peace